Welcome back to the Lenten Lessons on the Mass, Premium Edition. We're walking through the Mass and the liturgy and everything in the Chapel and Church step by step so you can learn a little bit more. And the more you learn about it, the more you're going to love it. After the Gloria, we turn the page and the rubrics state, when this hymn is concluded, the priest with hands joined says, let us pray. Then the rubrics state, and all pray in silence with the priest for a while. It doesn't tell you how long that while should be. My experience is it should be longer one second and shorter than 10 seconds. Then the priest with hands extended says the collect prayer, capital C-O-L-L-E-C-T, at the end of which the people acclaim amen. Collect means you collect everybody at that moment in terms of their thoughts and their intentions at the beginning of Mass. So I remember one time being in St. Peter's Basilica. It was a Mass with the Holy Father, St. John Paul II, and his big booming baritone voice, he sang out, Oremus! And you could hear the voice echoing off the walls and off the ceiling. And it seemed like a long time. I actually counted how long he waited. One, two, three. After three seconds, people are getting nervous. Four, five, six. After six seconds, they think, did he fall asleep? Seven, eight, nine. Why nine seconds of silence? So we can pray, get rid of the distractions. Pray, get rid of the distractions. And then he led the prayer. And at the end of the prayer, we all said, Amen. The prayer can be sung, that's called chanting it, or it can be read out loud. Let us pray. O God, creator of all things, who laid down for the human race the law of work, graciously grant that by the example of St. Joseph and under his patronage, we may complete the works you set us to do and attain the rewards you promise. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. And the people respond, Amen. Now, it's almost monotone, isn't it? There are different kinds of accompaniment for it. And when a priest hits a comma, he dips his tone down a little bit. When he hits a period, he dips it down a little bit more. There's certain tricks to this, but the important thing is that it is enunciated clearly and the prayer is not excessively long. But it always ends with this tag, this prayer. All right, so we're, we're, we're praying to God the Father through our Lord Jesus Christ in the unity of the Holy Spirit. You see that Trinitarian action throughout the Mass, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. So the priest is in the person of Christ the Holy Spirit's around. You can see his image over there by the tabernacle. And all the action is being offered up to the Father to praise him. It's a Trinitarian action. And the priest lends his voice and his hands to the action of Christ because at Mass he's acting, the phrase in Latin is in persona Christi. He's acting in the person of Christ. That's what he's ordained to do. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who's yours? The Father, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit. Now we wrap them all together. God the Father, Son, the Holy Spirit. One God forever and ever, or in Latin, in saecula saeculorum, until the end of the end of the end of time. Right? Isn't that fascinating? Did you like what you learned today? Well, then send us an email and tell us what new things you learned today.